Obviously over the last 24 hours we've had a fantastic reaction to our policy announcement yesterday called Family Boost which is designed to give childcare relief uh, to 130,000 families across New Zealand and we're doing that by funding and removing the waste from Wellington uh, and putting that straight back into taxpayers' uh, pockets so that they can actually navigate the cost of living crisis and to get more affordable childcare. So it's a really fair system that actually means that everyone keeps all the entitlements that they've got, even the government's newly announced uh, thing before Christmas, you know, that all stays in place. This is on top of that. And it's purely we can do it because we're going to cut the waste out of Wellington and send that money back to families, low and middle income families that desperately need support. It is a really, really dire situation out there for families who are trying to wrestle with how they pay a new rent increase and then the food costs and the school costs and the kids costs and also they get hit with a, a car bill and they get completely wiped out and they make really horrible choices about food and about childcare and options and choices are not available to them. So uh, it's going to be a great win for low and middle income New Zealanders. You know I got a message from a grandma last night who mm. said you know what this policy is great for me because at the moment I'm looking after my grandson two days a week because my daughter cannot afford childcare. Uh, and look there are a lot of families in tricky situations across the country who when they juggle up the cost mm. of all the tax they pay and their childcare fees are making decisions not to take a promotion or not to work a few more extra hours. Mm. We want to get rid of that barrier and our Family Boost policy will put money into people's bank accounts so they can make decisions about what suits them and their family. We've learned today uh, that the Transport Minister, fresh from saying that they were going to discount fuel, is now saying, but don't worry, we'll be hiking it up a lot more in future. And this underscores our view that you do need to be consistent in making sure you're funding the Lands Transport Fund, which pays for the roads, pays to repair the potholes, pays for the bridges, to make sure that New Zealand has the roading infrastructure it needs. So we will be making clear our policy on uh, petrol tax and tax charging before the election but look, we don't think a situation where it fluctuates dramatically up mm. and down as Labor has done is the right way to do it. Yeah.